Hello. Oh. <laughs> Hello, Capricorn. How are you guys doing? Thank you so much for tuning in, my loves. Hope that you guys are having a wonderful week so far and that you guys enjoyed your weekend. As you guys already know, this is going to be another general reading to see who or what is coming towards you in love. Do keep in mind the situation here could be played out vice versa or interchangeable. It could be reversed, whatever you want to call it, okay? It's a general reading. Um, just take what resonates and leave the rest. If it doesn't resonate with you, that's perfectly fine. There's so many other readings on YouTube. Um, or you may want to get a uh, personal reading. I was about to say a general reading. You may want to book a personal reading because that will be in tune with your situation. All right. So here we go, angels. This is for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. What is coming towards the Capricorn Collective? Set me into their higher self. What is coming towards the Capricorn Collective in love? What is coming towards the Capricorn Collective in love? Capricorn. All right. We have worthiness. What is coming towards the Capricorn Collective in love? Capricorn Collective in love. We have love and the divine masculine and the distorted masculine. Wow. Oh, right. see what that is about worthiness love the divine masculine the divine i'm sorry the distorted masculine what is coming towards the capricorn collective and love what do you have for capricorn and love spirit capricorn and love withholding who had that taurus had that too take this one seize the opportunity what is coming towards capricorn and love capricorn taurus literally had withholding patience i need a lot of patience for the situation <laughs> well that's fine because earth signs tend to have patience unless you have like a fire moon or something one more what is coming towards capricorn and love one more Karma and lessons. I'm going to take this one. Inadequate. Something about worthiness and inadequate. Ask for guidance is at the bottom of the deck. Very interesting. Two of the same type of cards came out. Worthiness and inadequate. All right. So some of you could be dealing with a fixed sign. Aquarius, Taurus, Scorpio, Leo. Also have Cancer. Overall energy, Capricorn, is the Six of Swords, okay? So the Six of Swords can mean a few things. The Six of Swords um, can talk about, you know, moving out of the choppy, crazy, turbulent, fucked up waters and moving towards calmer, um, a calmer situation between you and somebody, okay? Six of Swords can also talk about moving on, right? Um, we can talk about transitions, okay? Death is right behind that. So, we don't want a Scorpio. All right, what is coming towards the Capricorn Collective in Love Spirit? What do you have for Capricorn in Love? What is coming towards Capricorn in Love? What is coming towards Capricorn in Love? Oh, we got a runner, Capricorn. We got a runner. Give me a second, guys. <laughs> because it really looks like we have a runner. Um, you have the Knight of Wands in the reverse. Could be connected to a fire sign. But whoever the hell this person is, Capricorn, um... Oh, yeah, just to let you guys know, we curse here. If you don't like it, click off. It's re it's really that simple. Um, Knight of Wands is in the reverse. So you got a runner. Somebody's running away from you, Capricorn, or from this connection. Um, the Knight of Wands indicates some kind of fear. Why do I say that? That's how I read it. Because upright, he's fearless. Obviously, you know, he goes for it. You know, he's bold. He's really bold. But in the reverse, it talks about someone who may be a coward or they just have a fear. They're scared. Okay, um, and of course, motherfucker could be reckless as well, okay? But um, after that, we have the Ace of Cups in the reverse, Capricorn. So someone's heart chakra is blocked, is blocked off. If you're a cross watcher watching for a Capricorn, of course, this could be the Capricorn, okay? Um, but someone's heart chakra is definitely blocked the freak off. And someone's at the crossroads right now with the Two of Wands. Maybe they're trying to figure out if they should face that fear, 
and tell you how they feel or what. All right. Tell me more about the situation. What is coming towards Capricorn and love? Tell me more. Tell me more about the situation for Capricorn and love. Tell me more about the situation for Capricorn and love. Tell me more about the situation for Capricorn. What is coming towards Capricorn and love? What is coming towards Capricorn and love? Okay. Ooh. All right. Some of you could be connected to Taurus, Libra, or an Aquarius. I said that already. So, I feel like Capricorn, you may feel like someone is out of your reach, okay? Or someone feels like things are out of reach with you, okay? Because the star can talk about something that's far away from you. Some of you, this could be long distance, but someone wants to get closer to you, Capricorn. That's what I'm picking up. I feel like there's someone who's very interested in you. They admire you. They look at you from afar. They, I feel like someone's admiring you from afar. Okay. Um, the Empress, if you're a man, this could be a woman with children, right? Okay. Or this person could have children. But I do feel like somebody really does know your value. They see your worth. They see it. They see it. The Empress is here. Okay. But it's almost like they, they're choosing to kind of keep, like, to remain behind the scenes. Okay. The Four of Cups is in the reverse. Very interesting. I feel like this is someone who's afraid to take a leap of faith here. Yeah, they're afraid. Could be a Pisces, but got the fool in reverse. And so things are very stagnant. It's not moving forward. The Knight of Pentacles is in the reverse. Someone could have uh, real trust issues here. Real bad trust issues. That could be why for some of you. Um, somebody could also feel like they don't measure up. It could be a, um, a problem around their self-confidence. Feeling as though they're not good enough. It could be that for some of you as well, okay? Um, keep in mind, sometimes the reading could be talking about you, right? If it sounds like you, you're the one with the blocked heart chakra. You're the one not feeling good about yourself. You have all these fears. The reading could be talking about you. It's a general reading, okay? And maybe this is how the person is viewing you, all right? So tell me about the Knight of Wands in the reverse for Capricorn. Tell me about the Knight of Wands in the reverse for Capricorn in love. Knight of Wands reverse. Yeah, someone's in their head. Someone's really in their head. They live in their head and they love you. Oh my God. Okay, so this is a breath of fresh air, Capricorn. Because usually in the readings, I keep seeing obsessed, crazy lunatics coming towards you. But this is someone who genuinely does love you, Capricorn. They do. And they see that potential for love with you. But they just want you to get out of your head or you want this person to get out of their head. We've got Three of Cups and the Magician. Tell me about this Ace of Cups in the reverse, please, for Capricorn and love. Okay, that came out quick. The King of Swords. Ooh. Yeah. Someone's head over heart. They're trying to be head over heart. That's what they're doing. Okay. Um, they're trying. I feel like someone's trying to drown out their feelings. Okay, I don't know why I'm seeing someone going to the bar. Like someone likes to go to the bar a lot. Maybe met this person at a bar. Hmm. But you're definitely feeling frustrated, right? Someone's feeling frustrated in the situation because you just don't see any emotion from this person. Like, how the freak do you even feel about me? Ooh. Tell me about the two of wands for Capricorn and love. Like, how the freak do you feel about me? Someone feels inspired, though. They're feeling inspired. They feel like they want to get something off their chest when it comes to you, okay? They they feel inspired to take action. The, ace of, uh, the aces are about the seeds, okay? You plant them, and it's up to you what you're going to do with that. Because after the ace comes the two, right? So there's a seed planted here. There's inspiration. Um... There's thought behind the action or there's action behind the thought. They want to take action. But it's like, are they going to do it? Are they going to say something? Because I feel like there's something weighing heavy on this person. Um, and they want to tell you. Tell me about the two of wands, please. They want to tell you um, or you want to tell this person. Somebody wants to let the other person know of their feelings. Oh, who the hell is falling in love here? <laughs> All right, clarify the star. I don't know. For some of you, this person may be married, okay? And that could be why. 
they can't take advantage of this new love with you or this new beginning but obviously the feelings are there but for some of you they may have to kind of um keep their distance or watch you from afar or you may feel like you you can only love this person from afar because they have yet to get a divorce but obviously for some of you this is someone who's in a shitty relationship or shitty marriage tell me about the star here for oh wow the lovers could be a gemini tell me about the star here for capricorn in love so someone's really seeing you as the one capricorn that's the overall message here. They're seeing you as the one. But are they going to come forward and say that? Are they going to come forward and say that? Like I said, some of them, they need to make a decision. They need to get out of something that's that's no good for them. They could have fear, though. Tell me about the Four of Cups in reverse. They see you as the one. Ten of Pentacles, yeah. For some of them, they may have a whole family who the hell this person is. So they're worried about what people would think and all this extra shit. But they may not even love who the hell they're with. I feel like this is someone who's kind of... They tend to be in their head a lot. They're worried about what other people would think of them. Especially if like they're well-known in the community or something like that with the Hierophant. Okay? This could be like a preacher or someone who's just really well known they don't want to damage their reputation by leaving the karmic okay by leaving the karmic to be with their true twin flame their true love here which is you <laughs> oh god period well capricorn let us see who the hell this person is let's see who this person is Who is this person coming towards Capricorn in love? Coffee. You may have met them at a coffee shop. Maybe they work at a coffee shop. You have Barber. You have Summer. Maybe they're born in Summer. So they could be a Leo or a Gemini. Who is this person coming towards Capricorn in love? Taurus. Yep, Taurus definitely had the same reading. You have Reserved. Someone who's very reserved, hermit type of person. Who is this person coming towards Capricorn in love? <laughs> in love. <laughs> Who is this person coming towards Capricorn in love? Can I have one more spirit? Fireworks. Wow. I feel like this person felt fireworks when they seen you. We had cancer born in July, but I feel like this person feels like very sparked by you. We were seeing that in your last reading. Someone feeling very sparked in the... In, I don't know. It's like this is someone who's admiring you from afar. Angels, what would this person want to say to Capricorn? Keep in um, mind, Capricorn, these messages that I'm about to pull for you may not resonate, right? Take what resonates with the rest it's for a general audience. For some people, it will resonate. For others of you, it won't. So, angels, uh, what would this person want to tell the Capricorn collective in love? What would this person want to say to Capricorn? I miss being with you. Wow. I still have feelings for you. What would this person want to say to Capricorn? Oh, I can be myself with you. So the person that they're with, they probably feel like they can't even really be themselves with this other person. This person could be uptight and just, I don't know. They killing the vibes, man. <laughs> but with you, they just, they could let down their hair and really be them. This may be someone who's very... Like the person, if that resonates with you, the person they're with could be very, they could try too hard. I get that the karmic is trying to be like you or some shit like that. Ooh, who is this? Um, what would this person want to say to Capricorn in love? What would this person want to say to Capricorn? <clears throat> I need security. Who is this person coming towards Capricorn in love? I am not over you. Wow. <laughs> I do love you. Bottom of the deck is I am waiting patiently. Wow. I wonder how you feel. Okay. All right, Capricorn, let me know what the freak is going on here. Someone's watching and admiring you from afar. They do feel like you're special to them. So let me know what's going on. Love you guys.